In today's adventure, we're taking you aboard a 10-day cruise on the Norwegian getaway sailing out of the port of Manhattan. This is our first time on the getaway and we're really excited to explore this ship for the first time. Stay tuned because we're going to take you along as we tour the ship and we get to know it, you'll get to know it. We're going to eat in the specialty dining restaurants, we're going to take part in some of those activities aboard the ship, and of course we're going to go on some port adventures. Nothing like walking on the gangway of a ship for the first time. In a while. In a long while. They have french fries, potato and leek mashed potatoes, braised beef, bourbon smoked chicken, baked leek potato gratin, got meatloaf, ratatouille, fresh veggies, grilled sausage, Vegetable quesadilla, ham and cheese panini. Over here you have salad and a sweet welcome aboard. There's a carving station. You've got pasta station. They'll make some pasta for you. And the beverage station. We have chicken noodle soup and creamy tortilla soup. I have found the ice cream. Yay, guys, we have raspberry sorbet, cookies and cream, butter pecan, strawberry. We've got caramel sauce and some vanilla bread pudding. Fresh fruit and sliced cakes. Oh, I found the Asian station. Okay, vegetable fried rice, cauliflower, ginger beef stir fry. And here's the grill. Macaroni salad, potato salad, and coleslaw over here. I have to say, the burgers do look good. Pork noodle soup. And pizza. Let's see what else they have. Here are your vegetarian options. So we have rice. Looks like Indian food here. That looks good. I am going to start off with the vegetable rice. Let's see how this tastes. Usually on a cruise, the um, Asian station is some of the best food in the buffet. My first impressions is that it's just okay, the fried rice. It's, you know, as others have said, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. It's not bad, it's perfectly edible, just not anything special. Also, the ginger beef, let's see how this tastes. It's flavorful. I was expecting it to be tough. It's not as tough as what I would have thought, so that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the grilled chicken. Mm, that's tasty. It's nice and tender. It's flavorful. So now let me just try the lentils and the beans from my salad. Gonna get a little cheese with that. What I do like is how they have a little something different at each of the stations. Like one station, I got the salad with the lentils at a different station. They had the salad and the beans. So let's see. Standard lean lentils and beans. So, so far, just okay. Nothing special. The fries were very good. good. And then for the sausage part, I just like it without the skin and it's also a little bit spicy. And then the hot dog, good, tastes like normal hot dog. The grilled chicken, probably just gonna walk it all out with the ketchup taste. So our agreement on this trip is that he's gonna try a new food each time we eat. And so he tried the grilled chicken and that's what he was talking about, blocking it out with the ketchup. He's nine, we're, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. All right, so far the best thing that I've had is the ratatouille, the um, beef curry. Um, you barely tasted the curry, um, but it was, it was good. It had a sweet flavor. It's just that the, didn't, uh, the curry didn't come across. I'm really funny about my ice cream. I'm a Ben & Jerry's girl, and you will come to know that I love, with a capital L-O-V-E, salt and straw. So... 
that's that's the bar by which I judge all ice cream. Oh, it's okay. So I complained about the ice cream, but I ate it. My bowl is empty. A little guy tried the chocolate cake, and he liked that. Paul hasn't gotten dessert. <clears throat> His name Paul has not gotten dessert. But the thing I wanted to get back on and tell you is a couple of things. Number one, as I ate more of that fried rice, I started to enjoy it a little bit more. Number two, if you've never cruised before, this is a perfectly legitimate question. The little guy was just asking, so how do we pay for our meal? And as part of your cruise, this buffet is all you care to enjoy and you don't have to pay anything extra for it. There are specialty dining restaurants on the ship. We have uh, reservations for most, if not all of them, and we'll take you along on those um, as we get to them. Those are an upcharge. And we'll tell you how much each of those are as we come to them. But your standard buffet, and there are a couple of dining rooms on the ship that are all included, as well as some of like the fast food places. We'll take you around and we'll show you all the eateries. Also located on Deck 15, you'll find the Mandara Spa and Salon and the Pulse Fitness Center. The Pulse Fitness Center comes pretty well stocked. You're gonna find an assortment of treadmills, ellipticals, You'll also find a weight room filled with an assortment of free weights and weight machines. And this is the area for classes. Okay. Cool. Indoor cycling. So welcome to the thermal area. Nice. We always have to pick for you your orange juice water, your tea. You have your relaxation area. You can enjoy the views, so you can enjoy the hot tub. We have your inside at the surface pool, your hot tub. The white button that surrounds the pool and the hot tub it builds the water pressure up. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we have jets inside. The one uh, that roll well over there in the middle mm -hmm. massages your upper shoulders, your okay. neck area. And the one inside the pool, it massages your lower back. The one over there massages your legs. Okay. So these are your heated beds. I love these. Very warm and relaxing. Good for back pain, mm -hmm. calf pain. Yeah. This is your scenario. So this is like the sauna system. So welcome to the salt bath. This is great for your respiratory system. It helps with skin condition, with skin irritation, okay. eczema, psoriasis. Mm -hmm. On deck 12, you'll find the Splash Academy. This is the kids club for kids ages 3 to 12. When you go in to register, you'll pick up all of the permission forms as well as a full schedule for what you can expect will be on the program for the length of your cruise. The Splash Academy is large enough that they have a space on Deck 12 as well as Deck 13. Generally speaking, the schedule is broken up into a morning, afternoon, and evening session, all of which are complimentary. If you want your kids to attend the Late Night Fun Zone, that's a session that starts at 11 p.m. and runs to 1 a.m. that will be at an extra fee. Unfortunately, though we registered him, we couldn't get our little guy to try out the kids club more than once. We don't think there's anything wrong with the club. He's just not comfortable with being separated from us just yet. In between the two restaurants is the Prime Meridian Bar. So before you come down for dinner or you come down a little bit earlier, you can sit here at this really cool bar and have a drink. Over to the right, you will find Cagney's and their wine cellar here and here is the menu for khakis as i said i'll give you a closer look when we actually sit down for dinner but here are the starters crab cake jumbo shrimp trio ahi tuna tartare oysters rockefeller the soups and salads, lobster bisque, baked onion soup, iceberg wedge, your Caesar, your beefsteak tomato, your featured selections are slow roasted prime rib, your serpent turf, 
your double cut Australian lamb chop, double cut pork chop. You have your grilled classes, your ribeye, your petite filet mignon, your filet mignon, your porterhouse, your New York strip. And you will see that on top of the, um, you, you can do this one as an a la carte. Um, there are some extras, so the sauces, if you wanted to get some sauces, they tell you all about the temperature of the steak. Here's the seafood that they offer, steamed trout, jumbo shrimp skewers, the girls fisherman's platter, and here are your sides. Sir, menu. So you have your raspberry creme brulee, your seven layer chocolate cake, your apple pie, your caramel butterscotch, um, and your warm oatmeal oh, crust. And then you have your coffees brought to you by Starbucks. And outside is the waterfront. And if you wanted to eat outside, they have it closed now because it's wet, but there are tables outside that you can see there. Leaving Cagney's, we're headed over to the other side and we're gonna go to the Churrascaria. So as I was explaining, this particular restaurant, it's all you care to enjoy and you dine at your own pace, as it says here. They give you chips, a red one on one side, green on the other side. Red means please stop bringing me food. Green means please keep going. Um, it's a Brazilian steakhouse, essentially. Um, you have your salad bar, which I'll show you what the salad bar looks like in a moment. You have sides there, and they bring you cuts of this meat. Um, so you go get the desserts. You have coconut flan. Rice pudding, chocolate, coconut, tre leche, tre leches, and banana caramel meringue. Meringue. So let's go take a closer look over here at what the churrascaria looks like. So the salad bar is set up as all you care to enjoy. I really like the breakaway class ships and how nicely appointed they are. It's just really beautiful. Um, here. Um, I believe is one of the main dining rooms. I don't remember which one this is right now. Again, being a breakaway class ship, they're set up pretty much the same. I believe burn the floor takes place here. Uh, over here, closer to the salad bar, there are tables on the waterfront. You can see those through the curtains. You can eat outside here. So So here on the 8th floor, you have all of your shops. You can smell the perfume the moment you hit this area. So you have your jewelry shops, of course. Effie is really popular on cruises. The selling watches is popular. And of course you have your eyeglasses. And on the opposite side, you have your Tides Boutique which we'll get a look in all of these um, when they're open. And back here is where you would check out your photos. Now, one of my favorite things about the breakaway class ships is the 678 and how everything centers around this part of the ship, midship. You can find everything here. These things are closed up now, but they will open them up when we're at sea and they'll be selling you all sorts of things. My my advice here is wait to, towards the end of the cruise. They all of a sudden have sales. So this is the eighth floor. Love the chandelier here. And I'll show you some of the restaurants that are up here. But let's take a look down. Over to your right is Le Bistro. To the left there is Headliners. And up here is Ocean Blue and Wasabi and the Raw Bar. Over here is the Ice Bar. I don't know that we're gonna do that. And here is Sugar Cane, uh, the Mojito Bar, if I remember correctly. And then Sandbar is a duty-free shop. We'll go in there a little bit later as well. All right. Here is the menu for Ocean Blue. Thank you. Appetizers. Again, everything's a la carte. Your soup and your salad from the land. And please feel free to pause the video and take a closer look. Seafood specialties, simply grilled fish, and your sides. 
this looks to be the wine list for Ocean Blue. For the raw bar, you have what they are calling snacks. That crab toast looks delicious, I have to tell you. I may have to come back for that. You have your crudo. And you have your shellfish. And here's the menu for wasabi. You have your signature drinks. Your sake. Then you have your appetizers. Your yakitori. Your sushi rolls and specialities. Hmm. California roll, calling my name. Your nigiri and your sashimi. All right, so now we are moving on. And we are headed to Sid Norman's Poorhouse. Popular bar area. And then you have La Cucina. This is the Italian restaurant on board ship. Chances are we won't eat here. We don't la la love it. Um, but this is the aesthetic here. It's really nicely appointed. It's beautiful. But the food's just okay. It's Olive Garden level Italian. So we'd rather do some of the other restaurants. Okay, so we have found the getaway theater. It's here on deck seven forward. Okay, so it seems like we found the people. They're all here on deck seven. So Oshihans, this is open, I think most of the day. Um, it's bar food. And they also have games here that you can play for an extra fee, of course. Right, here's a look at the casino. Uh, we have been entered into a slot tournament. My mom is a little bit of a gambler. Um, not so much myself. Uh, Paul is a gambler as well. Okay, so this is Bliss. This is the nightclub on board ship. Um, where you go to dance, apparently. And so we're going to go in here. If I remember correctly, um, it's really pretty small. Alright, so this is the dance floor. It's really small very um, club-like in here. Um, but here you go, this is Bliss. This is where you would come if you wanted to um, dance. So this is Shanghai's, this is the noodle bar. Um, we'll take a look at the menu for this. But there's not a lot of seating here and it's probably gonna be really hard to get into if the ship is um, completely full. The one thing that I do want to say to you guys about this area over here by the casino, I see no smoking signs everywhere, but it smells like the bottom of an ashtray. And here is the Shanghai menu, all the different soups that you can get. Please feel free to pause the video and take a look. And I do believe that this is complimentary. This is the Tropicana room. This is one of the main dining rooms. Let's see what's on the menu tonight. Here are the appetizers. Ooh, that looks good. Uh, the crispy crab and cream cheese wonton. Mm. So we don't have a dinner reservation for tonight. We were playing it by ear. We didn't want to feel rushed. So we will see if the um, entrees and everything, the menu is the same over at the other complimentary dining room. If it is, we will um, see which one that we can get into. So if you don't know, Norwegian is freestyle dining. You are not assigned a table or a certain time to eat. You just come down and eat when you're ready. Um, pretty much a walk-up reservation is what you're getting. Unless you are going to a premium uh, restaurant, here are the desserts. You will just have to um, put your name down and they'll call you in as soon as there is an availability. And we saw this dining room from Cagney's and Moderno. Um, you can look down into it from there. And it's absolutely beautiful in here. I will tell you, Norwegian 
does a wonderful job with appointments um, in their public areas. It's absolutely beautiful. I am really into wanting to try that crispy crab and cream cheese wonton. Ooh, the smoked mozzarella ravioli looks good too. Oh, it's gonna be a good night. And just as, here's a quick look at what it looks like in here. Again, beautifully appointed. Really. And here is Saver on the opposite side. And just to show you, the menus, uh, as I said, appear to be identical. All right, oh, look at the reds in here. This is beautiful as well. Just beautifully appointed. As I said, they do a really, really nice job. Okay, so up next is teppanyaki. So this is our first um, dining reservation that we have will be tomorrow night. This is what you can expect when you come to Teppanyaki, your basic hibachi spot. But if I recall correctly, it's so good. Down All right, here is Headliners, a comedy club, which is right across from Teppanyaki and Le Bistro. We do have dinner reservations here at Le Bistro later in the trip. So here is the main atrium. Here is the main bar. You'll find the cruise consultant, the short excursions desk, um, guest services, which always has a long line, um, the Wi-Fi desk, everything that you would imagine that you would find in the center atrium is down here, including the Starbucks. Okay, we have, yes, we have officially sailed away, and it is freezing out here. It feels like a winter day. Um, Nothing like a, a sail away out of New York. It's absolutely beautiful, um, but definitely need the coats. There's a New York waterway. Um, we were not in our room when we started sailing away, so I'm not entirely sure where we are right now. I know that we have to go downtown and past Lady Liberty. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get a view of her. I'm not sure if we'll get a view of her from this side of the ship on the way down. But um, on the way back, we should definitely get a, a view of her, I hope. Okay, so we have decided to go to the Tropicana room for dinner tonight. So you can see it is bustling and hopping. This is the larger of the three complimentary dining rooms. All right, so here is the kids' menu. There is a barnacle burger and fries. There's a dog, dog gonnet. There's oodles of noodle soup. There's a mac and cheese. There's yummy tummy tenders, which is what the little guy's gonna get. Peanut butter and jelly. And then there's a play day pizza. And then for dessert, you have cookies, brownies, jello, and ice cream. And the splash around, you have orange, cranberry, or apple fruit juice. I ended up going with the crispy wonton. It was more crab filled than cream cheese filled, which was a good thing. The crab tasted like a Dungeness crab and there was a slight kick to it. It was not um, too spicy. You could still taste the meal and enjoy it. Overall, a good dish. So Paul decided to go with the shrimp cake as his appetizer. He says that he enjoyed this very much. It had a really good solid uh, shrimp flavor. It reminded him of a fish ball or a shrimp ball. He enjoyed this appetizer and would get it again. So the lobster ravioli was just okay. There was supposed to be some lobster sauce there. There was very little sauce. There was no lobster in the sauce. And there certainly was no lobster in the ravioli. I would not get this one again. So Paul had the beef sirloin medallions. He thought this dish overall was just mediocre. To start off with, he ordered this dish um, to come in medium rare and it came in more like medium well. He thought the sauce was good, the beef was not flavorful, and it was overall just okay and he would not get this one again. I also had the shrimp scampi. So the, the shrimp I thought um, was mediocre also um, it wasn't that flavorful and I, I was thinking to myself that I get more flavor from 
the shrimps that I get at the supermarket frozen in a bag and then we cook it ourselves and I think it's just a matter of how you cook it but this shrimp was not flavorful at all the linguine um, I thought was very salty it, it was there was a point where I just didn't want to eat it anymore because it was too salty. So the chicken was a little spicy. I I tried the ketchup, didn't cool it down. Lemonade didn't cool it down. Water didn't cool it down. The fries were pretty good. They tasted like Lay's chips. Um, sauce with came with the chicken that smells horrible, and I don't dare to eat it. The steak was a little tough to me. Uh, the french fries were cold. Um, not as soft as I thought they would, should be. Okay, so here are my thoughts on the flounder. It was breaded as you can see. Uh, I'll start with the tartar sauce. The tartar sauce was really good. That was flavorful. The breading was flavorful. The fish, it, it was good. It was white, flaky fish. but not a lot of flavor to it what made the flavors in the dish was the breading and the use of the tartar sauce I, I wouldn't say that it's not good I have been on cruises before and I've had really really bad cruise food this is solid um, it's nothing to go out of your way for um, but then it's included in the price of your um, ticket and your fare on the cruise so I would be a little more upset if I had paid the upcharge for this meal, but given the fact that it's quote unquote complimentary and a part of your um, cruise ticket, it was fine. It, it's solid food, but just nothing special. So here we are back in the room after a very full day. Day one, embarkation day is in the books. We had a really good day. Here are a couple of observations and things that I want to talk to you about, um, given the fact that this is our first time back on NCL since 2019. Um, I We are platinum members, Paul and I are platinum members. We actually tried to upgrade through using the upgrade system. I mentioned it was $20,000 to get the room that we would normally get. We got a notice around 5.20 or so this evening that um, they were unable to fulfill our request. Um, I would say that the service level is definitely very much different between the Haven and the regular cabins. As Platinum members, we're supposed to get certain perks that I don't feel like we're getting at this point to include concierge service. I mentioned this earlier, the bathrooms. There is a, a high lip to get in and out of the bathroom. I have tripped a couple of times. So on this particular ship, which feels different than the breakaway, you need to be careful. Um, just really watch your step coming into and out of the bathroom. So far, what I would say about our cabin also, it is not a bad cabin, it is standard. But the other thing that we did is we went to the show, which was supposed to be a comedy show, and it was just so-so. It was the family version of the show. The comedians were eh. Um, so we'll continue to see what else there is to do for the families around the ship. Tomorrow is a day at sea. We are looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you've gotten some information from this that is helpful to you. If you're planning your NCL cruise or any other cruise, um, some pretty good standard information. And stay tuned for tomorrow where I actually do a spa. Uh, so I'll take you into the spa, let you know how that goes, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you know when the next adventure begins. And no matter where your next adventure takes you, we hope that you enjoy the journey. Bye now.